All right, so this is the Q1 Pro, and you guys can see that it's an all enclosed Core XY machine. So we have a couple doors, one on top that opens up, and then we got this really large completely clear front door that gives you really good access. So starting here on the top, let's go to the back corner here. It tells us to lubricate the rods, which this is what we're writing on for the X and Y, and also the Z. We'll dual rods and the lead screw in the middle. And it does come with lubrication for the rods. But going back to the top, we have a USB port. Here we can see the hot end extruder. We do have a chain and the PTFE tubing running through the back there. It is completely enclosed. We got the two core XY motors. We also have a little clean out station here that looks quite interesting. Mechanical looks like. Some kind of little brush there. The nozzle cleans itself. And a little box here that collects the purge looks like. We also get a little external fan for the chamber. And going to this side, we have another fan that's quite large. And it kind of goes over here, and this is where it blows air out right on top of the upper bed frame. Cools the part down right underneath the nozzle. So the hot end itself is pretty chunky. It's got this nice enclosure all around. Here we have a note that says if you want to open this up, pull it from the bottom. There it goes. So there's like two little holes on top where it clips in. And this bottom uses these little tabs to hold itself so axial cooling fan and we can see the output there the filament detector is built right in here so this is our extruder mechanism here assembly we can see the extruder gear and it looks like a pretty nice high-end one with the large wheel and going down from there we can see our heat break also looks quite interesting and the thing to note that this does heat up all the way to 350 C we do have a silicone sock around the heat block and on the other side we can kind of see the gear there the heat break fan pretty tiny one and right here we have the leveling system sensor or the induction sensor for probing the bed. So yeah, everything looks pretty solid. So to put this back on, we just need to line up the top, the two holes there. And then this kind of goes down and it magnetizes as well. It's pretty nice. And also you guys can see we have the double belts for the core XY movement. So going down from there, we have the bed, which again, it rides on four rods with two lead screws on each side. And that should be very stable with this design, which is great to see. We can see in the back of the bed, we got the cables and they are somewhat strain relief, but this bed doesn't move much except for up and down. We got a PEI build plate. And we have the build volume of 250 by 250 squared. So here's a little warning saying do not print on this, but use the build plate. This is magnetic here. Also for the bed, you do need to take out four screws so it can move up and down. And they're there for shipping. And overall feels pretty good. This is plastic here. And the frame also feels plastic. But yeah, because of the way it's all set up, it should be more than good. And the PEI sheet is printable on both sides. And also it's quite easy to put it in as we can butt it in the back and then just drop it down and it's pretty easy to line it up. So here on the front lip on the way out, we can see chamber heating to close the doors to start heating it up. But if you're going to be printing PLA, TPU, PTG to leave the both doors top and front open. Yeah, so for high temperatures, I've seen close the doors and the lower ones, you leave them open. And here we have a little after sales contacts. Also going here to the top, we have a little label here that says that this machine here is good for, or this voltage range here. So yeah, so it appears to be specific for the region. And another thing that I almost missed is this little camera right here in this corner that's pointing right in the center here, which is pretty cool because it looks like we can monitor our print. So this front door is quite nice. It's very large. It's got a nice design mold to it, I guess and it hinges on a rod there that seems to work pretty well we got little magnets that magnetize to the bolts and it stays closed got a little indention here where you can grab it open or you can just pull it from the top however is easier but yeah very nice large door it does make the printer feel pretty unique so the sides are completely clean they do have like this little bulge which looks nice same thing on the other side on the bottom front we got a pretty nice design here like this cutout we can also see the feet it is sitting pretty low profile and then this piece goes up and we have our control panel here touch screen display so here we have the brand with the model number and the screen protector here so one thing that's quite unique is this spool holder as it kind of pokes out here. I normally like my spools that way, but yeah, this one is this way. And it's also poking to the front, which is quite interesting. And this is theoretically should be easier to get to. So our spool is going to go here and it's going to unwind into the PTF tubing here. We'll look in a second. But yeah, this piece just clips out. And also from the back, it just slides out. And this piece here also unclicks if you have a spool 
that's more narrower than this. So flipping it around to the back, this is what we see. We got a picture diagram here of how to install the spool holder. We can see that our PTFE tubing that goes through inside, our filament will literally sit here and then roll out into here. So I'm guessing the best way would be to roll out from the bottom up. We've got that external cooling fan, pretty clean here. There's another hole, we can kind of see wires. Our power supply is actually here, and that's the cooling. And another hole with the fan I can see where probably the motherboard is. Here we have the manufacturing label with some more useful information here. So here we have the input power. It is fused with an on and off switch. All right, so now I got the printer laying on one of its sides. So we got the front here and we can see we have the dual motors. It does not appear that they are tethered, but of course we can't see what's in between them on the inside as it is pretty thick here on the bottom lip. So very nice wire routing to the two motors. We got this little guy here. Not sure exactly what this is, but it looks like some kind of transformer of some sort. So we got wires coming to it and it's kind of external here for the bottom. This little box here accommodates our input power and it appears that all of our electronics are more like inside here towards the back somewhere. And here we can see a little closer our rubber feet. They're definitely rubber, kind of a high density. So I was really tempted to see what's behind here and I took out all the little bolts and screws which go all around and also alter the back and this whole panel here comes off. Kind of see here. And yeah, it's just a plastic panel. And behind that is all of our electronics. So let's go from the bottom up here. There's our power input port. We can see it goes in there and then the wires go to the power supply. I'm sure you guys can see the brand, it's upside down, but it is a 350 watts, the slim kind. You can change your voltages here on the side, which is good if you need to, but you will have to take off the panel to get to it. We've got a little cooling fan here that blows over the sinks on the board. We do have a pretty unique board. It says X-7 version 1.0. It's quite crowded in here with wiring coming from every direction. We've got a couple USBs, looks like a Wi-Fi dongle maybe or something. Solid storage there. We've got a pretty large heat sink for our main processor. There's more chips there. Got a little arm chip right there. And yeah, looks pretty good. And by the way, the stepper drivers are integrated and everything looks very well built and put together. So going up, we can see our external chamber fan. We've got the two motors here we can see. And our belt here, part of our mechanism there. And also there's actually another detector of some sort here. But yeah, this is everything underneath here. 